So the first thing we want to do uh, to implement mustache.js is, well, actually link to the JavaScript that's going to give us that functionality. So once you land on the GitHub page, you'll see that one of the files in its repository is mustache.js, and that's the one you're going to want to click on. And just go to raw, and then we'll just straight link from... Um, from GitHub to our file. So that'll be nice and easy for us to do. There's the GitHub. And then I'm going to put the script tags in there. And there you have it. So uh, simple enough. Now, GitHub, I'm sorry, rather, Mustache is going to uh, essentially do in a different way what we're doing here with this div container that's creating a div and then appending the data shares and data ID um, we're gonna want to have it do that for us so um, here we go I'm gonna comment this stuff out so we don't get confused alright uh, very good so uh, next order of business is well probably referring to the documentation when you're using this now um, if you go back to the GitHub page and kind of scroll down a little bit. You'll see that one of the uh, in the readme.md there's a, one of the links is the man page. It's the manual for it. And as you see right here, it says mustache5.html right there at the mustache.github.com page. And this synopsis should give you an idea of what we're talking about here. So let's just look first at the data that we have. Now this data is clearly JSON formatted data or if, even if it's not explicitly saying it's JSON formatted data it certainly looks like all of the rest of the stuff that we're used to. Right? And there you go. So you see that we have uh, the name is the key and then Chris is the value and value is the key a uh, 10,000 is the value. Uh, there you go. Now, interestingly, you see a typical mustache template. And it says hello and then name. Well, this name with, you know, in between the mustaches, hence mustache.js, in between the double curly braces, refers to the key over here. So, in, in our situation we'd be using ID because that would be the key that we're referring to uh, and uh, and you know key and then we have shares and that would be another thing that we put in so essentially when we're building our template with mustache we're going to be building something similar to this and I think you'll find that it makes things much easier than actually making sort of the spaghetti code, if you will, of when you're trying to mix the HTML and um, JavaScript. So, all right. With that said, that is how we're going to do it. It's always worth finding, besides this, finding a couple good tutorials and just things to read up on how things are done because we're not going to do it just straight like this because I mean if you look at some of the examples you find with mustache.js um, people still kind of use mustache in a way where well for example when you're doing it as a basic templating uh, actually let me just draw your attention to this article that I'm referring to over here I'll have a link in the, in the description um, the very first example, uh, it, it's kind of it's mixing it anyway. So uh, to me, this example is not that great because we're creating a variable uh, that's a, the template for it, and yet we're putting the HTML in there. But the one example I think that's the best is the externalized template, where we have an external HTML template. We put in the HTML and will call to it from there. So, um, okay, this may not be clear right now, and we haven't done anything more than link to the file, but we will be using example three kind of as our guide to how we're going to template things 
for ourselves. So this is example three in this article over here, the uh, it tutorial HTML templates with mustache JS. So definitely have a link to this in the description of the video.